shake hands. No way, John told us. Not a wrestler. Your referee, of course, is Frank Nosetti. Okay, we're set to go. Wrestlers getting set. Referee checking their grips. Ready? Go! And Tola's getting an upper edge right off. Tremendous strength there. Now Pope coming back. Oh, they're really going at it. Both men straining. You can break an arm in this very easily. Ever been and watched the rest of the champions for Petaluma? And now Tolis has them all way back there. Pope coming back on now. Now Pope with the edge. Pope has the edge. So Mendes battle in here. Tolis getting put closer, but he's straight out Pope wins it. Tolis is very upset. Ron wants to shake hands. John Tolis, the yo, he wouldn't shake hands coming in. He still doesn't. Come here, Ron. Hey, congratulations. This was fantastic. Now, this is the first time I've seen you wrist wrestle. And, uh, hey, this guy gave you quite a battle. Well, I can't deny it. He's a strong man. He has a lot more power than I thought he had. He has a lot of tendon strength. Well, Ron, are you going to be doing this every week now? Yes, and I've been training very hard. I've been working my forearms and exercising them every day and my triceps and different uh, muscle groups, you know. And uh, I'm going to be here every week. And uh, if there's Hopefully anybody back there challenge. in the dressing room or any wrestler anywhere that thinks he can put my arm down, he's welcome to try to win himself $1,000. By the way, uh, here's your $1,000, Ron. And I'm sure that uh, with the tremendous strength a lot of the wrestlers have around the country, they'll be coming from everywhere to see if they can pick that $1,000 by putting your arm down. So you're going to really have a test coming up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ron, all the best. Uh, and I hope you continue winning and keeping that wrist wrestling championship. Thank you, Hank. You're a gentleman. Okay, Ron. Tell you something. You're not showing no I, tape. Going to be showing any tape here now, today. I promise. told you. Watch this guy. You I told you. Show the you tape, and you know what's going to happen. I'll sue Sorry. you. Why I'll sue Shires. I'll sue the station. I'll sue anybody. You're not now, showing that tape. we promised the fans we'd show them part of that last fall. You're not you showing any of it. You're for a lawsuit. I'm telling you right now. Just try if you We're going to pull some cords, brother, around here. I don't care what. Just try it, and we're going to do something. I'm Shires, come out here. Do it. You better get Shires out Where's here. Where's okay. Shires? Tell him right. to come here. Call him. Well, all I'm going to say, fellas, is let's show the tape right now. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, don't you do that. I'm telling you right. Okay, hey, let's go. Hey, there it is. All right, you see that right there? Okay. All right, let's go get the tape. Let's go, let's go okay, back let's to the three room. Roll room and get the tape. Well, there they go. Try and stop that tape, bro. Let's see. Let's watch it.
thirty is the time at the Cow Palace. Two big main events for the world tag team title. Ron Starr and Ricky Vera go up against John Tolis and Ed Wiskowski. Then it's a no time limit match. It's for the United States Heavyweight Championship. The champion, Buddy Rose, has to put up his title against Jimmy Snook, the Superfly. That's right, brother. There's only one thing I'd just like to mention to Buddy Rose, that I have got down to the commissioner of the Wrestling Alliance and told him that I want a no time limit, two out of three falls. Now, Buddy Rose, as you know that you did hurt my shoulder once upon a time, brother, and you did cripple me and put me in the hospital. Now, let me tell you something else. Now, I got this uh, no time limit, two out of three falls, brother. Now, this time, I'm going to take care of you, brother. I'm going to finish you this time. Now, let me tell you something else. Not only that, but I remember that when you hurt my shoulder, you tried to put me away for sure. But this time, brother, I'm after you, and I found you exactly where you are. So right now, I got you where you're at right now, brother. Now, let me tell you something else. Now, the past week ago, when we was in the Cow Palace, you know exactly what happened now. Now, I beat you one fall so far. And of course, we went a little bit longer, and it came to the time where the time ran out when I was up in the air, and the bell rang, and why I was up in there and gave you the splash. Now, the people knew that I beat you, brother. The people right in San Francisco know that I beat you. The people down in the Bay Area and all around that area, they know exactly what happened. They seen it with their own eyes. They backed me up, and of course, not only that, now you got a little skinny neck geek manager of yours that's always on the side of the ring there. Now he always comes up there and always try to interfere with my business. Now let me tell you something else, Buddy Rose, and get this straight. Now let me tell you, you keep that manager, neck geek of yours, out of the way, and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to finish you for sure. But if he's going to interfere with my business, well, let me tell you something, brother. I'm going to get him and put him right in the middle of the ring with you and finish you guys off for sure, pin you down until it's all done. Then I'll get up on top of that rope, and I'm going to splash right on top of the both of you. And you guys going to wish, you guys going to wish, brother, that you guys would never, never even decided to enter this kind of type of business, and especially getting in the wrestling business inside the ring. Jimmy, I understand that uh, if they try to stop you with the splice, that you have something special for the manager if he tries to interfere and for Buddy Rose. That's right, brother, because he's a two out of three fall. No time limit now, Buddy Rose. Remember, brother, no time limit. Remember that tonight at the Cal Palace, the time's 8.30. That's right, brother. Cal Palace at 8.30, brother, and dream about it. Two out of three falls. To get Dean out here with us, if it's possible. Hey, Certainly. Brother. Here he comes. Yeah, oh, that's it, brother. Hey. There you go. You got it. And Dean and Ron, let me congratulate you guys on winning that World Tag much, Team Hank. Championship. A great honor. And Ron, let's talk to you for just a moment. We don't have your opponents yet, but you will be on that card on Saturday, October the 21st, right here in the Cow Palace. And I'll tell you, this was a great match you had here this evening. Thank and you very much. We were Hank. very impressed. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know. These wrestlers in this area are getting rougher and tougher all over the country. The Japanese wrestlers are coming in. Just It seems like right now that this area right here is the epitome of professional wrestling. And I owe it all to my partner, Dean Ho. You know, Dean was with me the night I won the World Junior Heavyweight title. I had to give up later on. I was starting to get a little heavy there. And I've always been in the heavyweight category, and, and that's where I feel best. And, and like I said, Dean was with me there. He prepared me mentally and physically for it the same as he did for us to go out and win these World Tag Team title belts. And, you know, I'd like to say just one thing, and I'm sure that the Dean will agree with me. We're willing, ready, and able to put these belts up at any time, any place in the world. It makes no difference to us. Okay, Ron, hope to have you back here on our international television network soon. And Dean,